Hey guys, so in this video I want to show you how you can open a bank account in the US without being an American citizen. And I'm making this video because I see people asking about this all the time, they have no idea how to do it, and when they find solutions, they're either too complex, too expensive, or require things such as you being physically present in the US to open a US bank account. Now the good news is, in this video, I'm going to show you in a second how you can quickly and easily open a US bank account without you being an American citizen, without having a social security number, and without even having to be in the US. You can open this from home just using your internet, and you can be a citizen of pretty much any country in the world, with the exception of a handful of countries that are pretty much blacklisted on everything on the internet, and I'm talking about countries like Venezuela, Iran, stuff like that. But most countries, and for most people watching this video, you won't have any issues at all opening a bank account in the US from your own country, and you don't have to pay anything, it's free, it's very simple to do, and I'll show you right now how to do it. All right, so just go to Google, or open your browser, and head to Wise dot com that's w i s e dot com and then just click enter and here we go so we're now in the wise website and wise is basically a company from the uk that allows you to open a bank account not only in the us by the way but also in countries such as australia new zealand and even in the european union so you can have local bank accounts in those countries or you know, continents, in, I guess, in the, in the case of the EU. And it's great because you can receive funds and money in the local currency and you will be given local bank account details, which you can then provide to whoever you want, whoever is transferring money or paying you. Now, the other really cool thing about this is, and I'm just going to annotate here while I show you, is they also have this personal and business account, all right? So with the personal account, you can open your own, you know, your own personal account as an individual. And with the business account, with the business account, you can open an account as a company. So if you're registered as a company, you can set up a wise business account as a company so you can receive funds and transfer funds from your company. Now the other really cool thing is from WISE is as you are seeing here is that you can also um, you know convert currencies and hold multiple currencies in the same account the same WISE at the same time. So you manage everything from this WISE account and you can have American US dollars you know Australian dollars New Zealand dollars um, great British pounds from the UK. You can also get local bank account details from the UK as if you were a, um, you know, a UK citizen, even if you're not a UK citizen, which is pretty cool, like I said. And for example, here they're showing you the Australian to GBP rate. You can see here the trend that's going down. It's mean, you know, which means that the exchange rate is going down. And you can also, if you click here on the guaranteed rate, it'll show you, you know, that this is the guaranteed rate for the following hours. And if you click here on the exchange rate, it'll show you how it's fluctuated over the last 48 hours, one week, one month, six months, 12 months, five years, right? So again, just showing you a little bit of, of WISE, but if you scroll down, available for you in Australia, and if you click here, your country, let's say Canada, yes, it's also available in Canada. So it's pretty much like I said, available for you in any other country and send money cheaper and easier than old school banks so this is really cool with wise you can easily and it's a lot cheaper by the way than transferring money from you know your local bank and so forth um, you can spend money without any hidden fees you can receive payments like a local in 10 currencies so like i mentioned before your your own uk account euro us routing number so this is what you would get you know, like you like, this is what relates to your, you know, American bank account. So you'll be able to receive American dollars, US dollars directly on your, 
bank account because this is actually like a bank in the US that's setting up your account in partnership with WISE, but you don't have to deal with that other bank. You manage everything from WISE. And once you set up your account and open your account, which like I said, is free, you can then start managing your money, including your US bank account, all right? And you can also convert and hold 53 currencies. If you click here, see all currencies, it's gonna show you all the currencies that you can convert, like I said, from a ton of countries in the world. You can send money to 80 countries. Again, it's highly unlikely you're not gonna be in the list of the countries here, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna go back to the, you know, get these local account details. So like I said before, here it is, US dollar routing number and account number, get USD account details. So if you click on that US dollar account in Canada, open my US dollar account and it'll help you set up your WISE account um, so you can hold American dollars, which is pretty cool. And the other really cool thing about WISE is that you can, because it allows you to hold, it's like a multi-currency account. So it's not like a bank account where you have, you know, your, your, um, your US dollars and no, it's, this is a multi-currency account. So under the same account, you can hold American dollars, Great British pounds, Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, like pretty much all of these different currencies under the same single account, which is great. You know, this is really cool. And you can convert between the different accounts. You can also get a card. You can see here the card. You can also get a, a, a debit card, but it's actually, it has the same numbers and the three digits at the back, like a credit card. So you can, you know, if they're asking for a credit card, you can actually use this. I use it all the time. You can link it to your Apple Pay if you have an iPhone. Super cool, super easy to use. Sometimes I see some people saying or asking whether WISE is a legitimate company. And there's a couple of, you'll find a couple of forums or in Twitter or in some places that some people uh, kind of claim that WISE isn't a legitimate company. Well, I want to tell you that it is. It is a legitimate company. It is fully regulated. I'm just going to go here down. Um, yeah, regulated here. For example, you can see here that they're fully regulated. And the different authorities in the world are fully regulated. This is a fully legitimate company. It's one of the most um, successful startup and companies in the European Union. Like I said, um, well, not, no, no longer the European Union, sorry, in the UK. The UK left the EU a couple of years ago. So yeah, in the UK. Um, so this is a very successful company uh, that is now global. Obviously, people from all over the world use this company. You get your local account details, including your American dollar. You can convert. And like I said, that's pretty much all you need to do to open your bank account in the US. So like I said, it's very, very easy. Of course, they're gonna validate your details to make sure you know, you're not trying to do anything illegal with the money. Um, but you just go to register and then just enter your email address and just follow the process. They're gonna validate some of your documents and some of your personal data. Don't worry, they'll, they'll specifically um, you know, request the information that they need from you in this process of registration. But once you're set up, which is like I said, fairly easy, fairly straightforward. If you're not doing anything illegal, you're not going to have any problems with this. You should be able to provide the data that they request from you so that they can validate your identity, check that you're a, you know, a good person, and then you'll be able to open your WISE account. And again, you'll get your, um, you know, your US bank account details, which you can use to do whatever you want. So this is how you solve the problem of how do you open a US bank account without being an American citizen, without being in the US physically, without having a social security number. This is how you do it. Just go to wise.com, open your account, and you'll be able to get started right away to you know hold your American dollars. And then now you can have an American account which you can share with whoever you need to. Features, multi-currency account, the WISE card that I mentioned before, money transfers, large amount transfers. I use this all the time. I've been using it for many years. I've never had any issues with it. And, you know, we have a large global business. We hold multiple currencies from all over the world. We have partners in Japan, you know, in the, in the UK, in Europe, in the US, in different countries, in here in Australia. And we manage all of our transactions on all of the money that comes into our business and out of it via WISE. So I highly recommend it. Great company, great product, great customer service. And like I said, beautiful, solves the problem of you needing a bank account, a US bank account and not being an American city. All right, guys, I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.